know if you guys knew this or not, but uh, these videos are typically delayed by about a week. I usually film them on the weekend, I spend all week editing them, and then I upload them on Thursday. And that's not this video. That's not this video at all. Today's Friday, I'm uploading it today on Friday, and you guys are seeing it, bam, today, Friday. This video is pretty much live. 15 days ago, I hurt my back at work, and I worked through it for a little while, and then finally just the pain was too great and I, I couldn't do it anymore. So I've been off work now for 11 days. I've been to two different chiropractors, half a dozen visits. They have diagnosed me with a herniated disc. And this is not an, an end all injury. It's definitely a big deal though. And if you don't know what a herniated disc is, just know that it fucking hurts and it's really, really annoying. But even more aggravating than the annoyance of the injury is the fact that I've had to pay out of pocket for all the medical expenses thus far. And that's because my work is consumed with having a crispy, clean, fresh, flawless safety record. So they don't want this on their record. They're highly encouraging me to not go through workers' comp, which uh, has made things difficult. It's definitely made things very difficult on me. And they've been telling me they're gonna give me health insurance and they're gonna compensate me, but I don't wanna get too into the legalities of this, but you know, I just think about all the time and energy that I've traded to this company in exchange for a paycheck. And I'm doing all this to help them pursue their dream. They want to be the best industrial construction company in the business. And that's come at a cost and that cost is my health. You don't really realize what a critical component your back is for the overall functionality of your body until it's compromised. I'm now left here unable to pursue my dream, like a piece of damage machinery, which is creating content, editing videos, going on rare adventures, and bringing them to you guys here on this platform. So uh, yeah, it sucks. And it's just another thing that I'm adding to the list of things that suck about this year. This has not been a good year. So that's why I don't have anything cool to bring you guys this week, but I do have a pile of mail and instead of getting into it about this injury, let's just open that up because you guys send it to me. I appreciate it. Thanks for caring. We got a bunch of mail here, man. First piece of mail is from Smart Devil. They make a fully metal car charger. Uh, I'm supposed to review this. I knew it was coming. I'm not gonna review it in this video and I don't think they would like me to. It's not the kind of video this is. Next piece of mail is from Richie Rich Leader from Lamida. Holy shit, Richie Rich sent me some money. Damn, that is a cool guy. Nick, enjoy the dead presidents. Keep on jeeping, bro. Richie Rich, Richie Rich, you are the man. Wow, that, that's a spirit lifter right there. That That's really nice, man, thanks. Got three postcards. Oh, two of them are actually from the same guy. What's happening, Captain? How's it going? Really like your off-road vids. I'm here in Washington, D.C. for training right now, but thought it would be fun to send something to your P.O. box. Next. Next one. I was at KOH and went to Nora this year. Tons of fun. No Jeep here. I have a pre-runner, not a bro runner. A real pre-runner. Ha, huh? sorry about Rubicon. Tell Lexi hi, Robert. I like that he had to specify that it's uh, not a bro runner. And, uh, yeah, man, uh, losing Rubicon was, it was, it was fucked, you know? Uh, we actually have another cat. She's not friendly at all, though. Her name is Squirrel. That, that squirrel right there. This is Squirrel, and uh, Squirrel is really, really friendly. I'll introduce you guys later. We got her about a month ago. Squirrel's kind of a dick, but uh, anyway, another topic. Next, we got a nice postcard here for Mount Whitney. Mmm, isn't that lovely? Captain Arkell, here is another postcard picturing Alabama Hills and Mount Whitney in the back. And that's all I have to say about that. Maggie and Ed. They've been sending me postcards of like trips they've been going on, so that's been, that's been super, super cool. Next, we got a big heavy lope. A uh, big heavy lope. I got a bench press this one. This one's got some weight. Not sure who it's from. Someone in Santa Barbara. We got a business card, we got a bunch of stickers, and this guy actually wrote me a novel. Unbelievable. Thanks for the book. Jeff, appreciate it. 
I think if I read this on this video, this video would be like 20 minutes long, but uh, shh, that's the sound of your big ass knife cutting open this envelope. Like I didn't even open this with, with the knife, I, I should have. Dearest Captain, I'm using my fancy computer to write you a note, mostly to save you the pain of reading my handwriting. I apologize if this format caught you off guard. I'm a little caught off guard right now, squirrel. Where was I? Came across this as an attempt to collect debt or offer you low interest rate on balance transfers. Hey, come on! Your channel is really awesome. I found your work about a year ago because of your Jeep content and love of the desert, my two mutual interests. Hey, come on, cats being bad. I've been wanting to write you a note, send random crap, and just say thanks for a while, but wasn't sure what to say until now. I watched your Vegas slash Lexi's birthday video and I've stayed in HVAC suites myself. I have two young sons. One calls you Captain Narki. They are awesome and consume all my love, energy, time, and attention. You seem like a really cool dude and I plan on being on the other side of the screen when you release something new. I just signed up for your Patreon to show some support and contribute to your goal. Holy crap, Jeff, you're the man. I really appreciate you. I think it would be awesome to see you achieve success because you 100% have the talent and personality that will take you far. There are plenty of guys who have done it. Just remember, you can too. And clothes are some random off-road stickers I've been hoarding in my garage for a while. Maybe one day I will see one on your Jeep or trailer and be like, hey, I know him. Stay rad. Jeff, Jeff, uh, Dude. That was uh, that was really really nice. I think you might have the record for longest letter anyone's ever sent me. So uh, thanks, man. I really appreciate that quite a bit. And uh, thanks for all the stickers. That's really cool too. I actually have a Tom Woods drive shaft also. Uh, it's it's half of a Tom Woods because it's broken a few times, but there's still a little wood in there. If you know what I'm saying. So uh, yeah, thanks everybody for the mail. Thanks for cheering me up. I really, really appreciate it a lot. Well, that's pretty much it for this week. Jeff, thank you so much for everything, man. And everyone else that sent me mail. Richie Rich, you are the man. Uh, if you want to donate on Patreon, it would mean the world to me, especially right now with all these expenses. And, uh, you know, it, it, it's been tough lately, but hopefully I'll have a positive update for next week. But to be honest, I'm not really hopeful. Uh, I'm sorry, but I'm not. I'll see you guys next week. Thanks for watching.